Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics MI channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting integral, integral from 0 to 1, x minus 1 over natural log of x times 1 plus x cube. Well, uh, first, uh, I'm going to take an integral, you know, integral from 0 to 1, x to the y, dy. If we integrate this one, we know we have x to the y over natural log of x from 0 to 1 now when y approaches to 1 uh, we have x when y approaches to 0 we have minus 1 so we have x minus 1 over natural log of x okay so we can write our integral is equal to integral from 0 to 1 now here 1 plus x cube so 1 over 1 plus x cube uh, then uh, instead of x minus 1 natural log of x, we can use this integral. So, we have integral from 0 to 1, x to the y, dy, and here dx. So, now we can write this is equal to integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to 1, x to the y over 1 plus x cube dx d y okay then uh, i'm going to take a substitution let's take x cube is equal to t then if we differentiate 3 times x square dx is equal to dt then we can plug in so we have integral from 0 to 1 now we know limit uh, also 0 to 1 uh, x to the y x we know t to the 1 over 3 so here t to the y over 3 over 1 plus x cube we know t and dx we have dt over 3 times x square x square we know t to the 2 over 3 and here we have dy okay uh, then we can simplify here 1 over 3 we can write outside of the integral sign integral from 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1 now uh, we can simplify here t here t and at the same time uh, we know definite integral independent of the variable so instead of t now i am going to use x so we have x to the y over 3 2 over 3 so y minus 2 over 3 over here 1 plus x dx dy okay then <clears throat> we know about uh, this integral integral from 0 to 1 x to the m over 1 plus x to the n dx in the previous video i solved this integral i will add the link in the description so we know this one is equal to 1 over 2 times n di gamma of m plus n plus 1 over 2 uh, minus di gamma of m plus 1 over 2 times n okay then we can use uh, this integral representation so we have uh, here uh, now 1 over 2 times n we know n is equal 1 so 1 over 2 so we have 1 over 2 here 1 over 3 so 1 over 6 integral from 0 to 1 then uh, here we know instead of this integral we have uh, di gamma of di gamma of uh, m plus n plus 1 so m we know y minus 2 over 3 plus n 1 plus 1 so plus 2 over here uh, 2 minus di gamma of now m plus 1 over 2 times n so here we have y minus 2 over 3 plus 1 over 2 and here we have dy well uh, let us simplify so here 1 over 6 integral from 0 to 1 now we have here a di gamma of now if we simplify 3 times 2 6 so y plus 4 over 6 y plus 4 over 6 minus di gamma of 
y plus 1 over 6 and here dy okay then uh, we have to integrate digamma function we know if we integrate digamma function we will have natural log gamma function so we have uh, here uh, when integrating here constant 1 over 6 so we should divide it by 1 over 6 so this 6 also get cancelled so we have natural log of gamma of y plus 4 over 6 minus natural log of gamma of y plus 1 over 6 a limit we know 0 to 1 okay then according to property of natural log we can write here natural log of gamma of y plus 4 over 6 over gamma of y plus 1 over 6 limit from 0 to 1 okay then uh, if we apply limit uh, we have natural log of now here uh, gamma of 5 over 6 over natural log uh, gamma of 1 over uh, 3 then we know uh, property of natural log so minus will be uh, we know divide so here we have now if we plug in 0 gamma of 1 over 6 reciprocal gamma of 2 over 3 okay then uh, we can write this is also equal to natural log of gamma of 1 over 6 times gamma of 1 minus 1 over 6 we know 5 over 6 over here gamma of 1 over 3 times gamma of 1 minus 1 over 3 then we know the the Euler's reflection formula so gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x is equal to pi times cosecant of pi x so here now we have natural log of natural log of pi times cosecant of pi over 6 over pi times cosecant of pi over 3 then this pi get cancelled we know the value of cosecant of pi over 6 and cosecant of pi over 3 so 2 the square root of 3 over 2 this 2 get cancelled then we have one half natural log of 3 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching